Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, many of you had actually requested me to upload a video related to PDF query using Langchain. So suppose let's say if you have a PDF which has a lot of text information and you want to use Langchain and OpenAPI, OpenAI API itself to query some kind of data but just by asking questions you will be able to get the output. So this is where uh, many people had actually requested and probably just in this five minutes tutorial you'll be able to understand how you can specifically use it. Okay. Now Langchain if I probably go and see the documentation there is something called as document loaders. Okay. Now in this document loaders you know you will be able to take data from different different sources you know you may be able to take data from a PDF or text file and all those things and here you have this kind of uh, syntaxes you probably see that how many different types of document loaders are there everything you'll be able to check it out over here so please make sure that you check out this particular uh, page itself with respect to the documentation now uh, let's go step by step probably if you follow this particular step uh, querying the data source for the text file also becomes very very much easy so quickly first of all we go ahead and install this all basic libraries which is specifically require Langchain, OpenAI, PyPDF2, PyCPU. Now PyCPU is, I'll explain you why this specific thing uh, library is required. PyPDF2 is a library which will actually help you to read from the PDF file itself. And one more uh, dependency libraries for files is Tick token okay so tick token is also one more uh, dependency libraries which will focus on creating tokens and all okay so once you probably install all these particular libraries and it will probably take some time so i have done the installation now i'm going to import all these libraries say from five pdf2 i'm going to import pdf reader which will again be responsible for reading the pdf files from langchain.embeddings.openai i am using openai embedding so openai you know also has this embedding things embedding vectors so anytime whenever you have any confusion you can just go and search it right go and just search for openai embeddings what are embeddings openai text embeddings measures the relatedness of a text string right embeddings are commonly used for search clustering recommendation anomaly detection classification so open ai has provided almost everything that you can probably do so in this step uh, we are uh, we have to probably use open ai embedding so that whenever i'm asking any kind of question like uh, let's say my pdf over here as an example i'm going to take a, of the indian budget right so indian budget whatever budget is announced in this particular year with respect to that particular pdf i'll try to upload over here and what I will do, I'll try to ask questions within that specific PDF and you'll be able to get the answer. Then the next thing is that I will be importing character text splitter. Now, again, if you don't know about character text splitter, in short, whatever content I basically have inside the PDF, I'm just going to split that into uh, considering some special characters like a new line. And I can also define how much should be the text size, you know. Uh, this is specifically done because uh, whenever I'm using OpenAI embeddings, we have a fixed size of tokens, okay? And this is a very important step that we really need to do. Then the next uh, uh, important library is something called as files. And now this is just like a vector database. Uh, you know, whenever you are trying to create an embeddings of the text data that is probably present inside your PDF, we will try to store in that in the vector stores, okay? So just a simple things over here, but if any queries you specifically have, just go and search for these terms, these libraries, you know, just search for OpenAI, OpenAI embeddings, OpenAI character text split, you will be able to find out all the information like how we have actually searched over here, what are embeddings, okay? So uh, make sure that you do this, but these four libraries are specifically required. So here are all the four libraries over here that I'm going to import. Now over here, I have already executed this code of uh, getting the open API key. I don't think so we require SERP API key unless and until you are doing a Google search. So over here, whatever API key you specifically have in my previous video, I've already shown you how to put the API key itself. Now as suggested, the problem statement is that this is my budget PDF, okay? And this particular PDF, I will try to read it with the help of PDF reader. So just to execute it, PDF reader, I have to just give the path of my budget PDF over here and then i will probably be able to uh, read each and every pages how do i read it for that i will be importing two libraries from type extension import concatenate okay then what i'm actually going to do i'm going to enumerate uh, inside the pages of all the pages of the pdf i'm going to extract this text and put it inside my variable content 
and if content then raw text plus content that basically means i am putting all the content inside this particular raw text okay so once i execute it and uh, it will probably take time because they are so many different different pages that are available in that particular pdf so finally you will be able to see this is what is my raw text and you'll be able to find out all the information over here and it's quite huge if i probably open this it is somewhere around 36 to 38 page okay now the next step as uh, we have imported the library of open ai embedding and character text splitter we will go ahead and actually take this character text splitter and we'll split our entire text based on this particular separator on this chunk size like what should be my one sentence uh, one one sentence that is 800 chunk size how much overlap can be done the next sentence can have an overlap of from the previous sentence of 200 at the last so that is there and length function is nothing but this length which is an inbuilt function so once i do this text dot uh, text splitter dot split text of raw text then I'm going to get this entire text. Okay, so this is an inbuilt function that is present inside character text splitter. Okay, so once we execute this, then this is my total number of text that I'm probably able to get. Okay, again, you can play with this chunk size. Uh, the main thing is that for each and every model that we specifically use, uh, uh, there will be a fixed token size, we should not exceed that I can probably put this 1000 also, right with respect to that then i will go ahead and use this open ai embeddings which i already told you this embeddings whatever is there and then i will going to say that files from text and this text into embedding so that basically means what i'm actually going to do is that i'm going to basically put this entire text with respect to this particular embedding and get this entire vectors okay so here is my document search so if i probably go and execute this okay you'll be able to see that <clears throat> it will be a lang chain vector stores as as suggested right uh, it'll just be like this text is actually getting converted into this embedding and getting stored over here okay and uh, later on i will try to use a tool uh, in lang chain also you have this question answering load qa chain and from llm.llms import open ai as usual i will take this load qa chain use this open ai uh, object and i will say chain type is equal to stuff so that whenever you try to ask a question it will be able to give you the answer so this is my chain <clears throat> now all i have to do is that write a query now inside this particular pdf let me just open this particular pdf so that you will be able to understand so let's say this is my pdf over here okay and let's say i want to ask some specific question okay so let's say over here any question you can basically ask okay what is the vision for Amrit Kal, okay. I'll just ask this specific question. So let's let's consider this is one of the question over here. But before this, let me go ahead and write this and uh, take this particular stuff. So what is the vision for Amrit Kal? Okay. Now, if I execute it, then what is happening? This document search, which has the entire embedding. It is trying to find out the similarity search for this particular query and then this we are doing chain dot run where i'm giving my input documents and question of this query so our vision for amrit Khan includes technology driven and knowledge based economy so here you can basically see all the information is basically getting picked up so whatever things we are querying with respect to the pdf we are able to get this okay and uh, one more question was that how much agriculture target will be increased by right so uh I will just say, I will just copy and search for this if you want. So over here only somewhere, agriculture related to agriculture also something I saw uh, quite long back. Let me see somewhere that question was there and you can ask basic questions. See the agriculture credit target will be increased too, right? So I have written how much the agriculture target will be increased to. And if I probably execute it, you'll be able to see 20 lakhs crore, right? So this is what 20 lakh crores is there. And uh, suppose if I say, and what the, and what the focus will be, right? When I do this query search, uh, it will probably give the agriculture type to grow with focus on animal husbandry, dairy and fisheries. The same thing, whatever things are specifically there. So I hope you are able to understand this. Uh, see, at the end of the day, 
you take any 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 document source even even pandas data frame you can also take that also and I'll, if you want that specific example please do let me know uh, but if you take this kind of pdfs definitely you are able to do this and this is quite amazing with respect to langchain now you don't have to be dependent on things just imagine uh, if you have your entire financial data right in the form of PDFs, let's say the expenditure in the form of PDFs, right? You just need to load those PDFs, chat with that, and you will be able to answer this kind of questions, right? So I hope you are able to understand this. Anyhow, I'll be sharing you this entire materials. This was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.